Peter, there we go. Okay, so good morning, Lloyd Siegel. And yes, wonderful to have you here this morning, Saturday, the uh, 15th of January, 2020. And this background here actually is the view from our front yard of Santa Barbara. We live up in the mountains, about 2,000 foot level. And, uh, you know, it looks a lot better uh, than my messy office right now. So <laughs> we're kind of, uh, you know, you can kind of see that bleed through here and there, but that's the background. We're on a Zoom meeting here with Lloyd Siegel. And how are you doing, Lloyd? Real well, real well. Thank you. Uh, excellent, excellent. I really appreciate you uh, making the meeting and very much appreciate you uh, doing this uh, meeting here with the Santa Barbaria coming up next weekend on the 22nd from one o'clock till about four. Looking forward to seeing you Saturday. Oh, that's great. Excellent. And uh, so, you know, I don't know if you've used Zoom very much. I have the ability to share my screen and show some things on here and I can, you know, pass it off to you and let you share the screen and show some things. But, you know, it's totally up to you. I want to talk to you a little bit today about some of what we're going to be covering in our meeting, but uh, I really want to move on to your Ventura uh, Real Estate Investor Association, talk about that a little bit. Um, I'm going to bring up maybe some things on there, and then also uh, your Los Angeles uh, Real Estate Club, which is huge, and talk about that too. So where would you like to begin? Well, let's talk about what's going to happen Saturday. I think that's most important. Okay. Um, don't forget that um, for those who haven't already heard, the first 25 people to arrive will receive a complimentary copy of my book, Flipping Houses. And I think what's significant is on Saturday, I want to be able to give everybody the how to get started, uh, what I call the, the power four, how to find, finance, fix, and flip houses. That's what people want to know. Excellent. And it's never been more difficult. It's even more difficult in Santa Barbara County. But, yes, it is. Uh, rumor has it there's some other counties around you to the north, south, and, and east. Uh, so there's still a lot of opportunity. We want to be able to get people started uh, fixing and flipping houses. That's excellent. And, you know, that really is a great place for them to start. Because whenever I talk to people about investing in real estate and having this investment club, the first thing they say is, well, I don't really have any money to invest and, you know, I don't think I want to go or be part of it or whatever. And you're a perfect example of showing everybody that you start off doing things where you don't need money and then you graduate up into different things where you have money that you've generated from that work. Right. I always recommend to people, if you're just getting started and you have limited capital, consider wholesaling deals. Listen, my last several deals were um, multi-million dollar transactions and they all occurred because a wholesaler brought me a deal. So you can get anywhere from 5,000 to 10, 15, 20, whatever, um, based on going out and using the strategies I'm gonna to try to teach on Saturday to find properties. Excellent. Wholesaler. That, that is really exciting. It, it really is the place, uh, you know, I spent, actually started my real estate career buying a duplex and kind of did it backwards. Usually that was in the ice age, wasn't it? what's that? That was in the ice age, wasn't it? That was in the ice age. I was uh, 1978 and I got a, a duplex about two blocks from University of California, Santa Barbara. And I lived there, you know, get at the uh, carport and uh, basically rented everything out. And from the start, I was living there free. And I've kind of been in that mode ever since trying to figure out how to stay in that along with doing all the investing. And in 1978, I was still in kindergarten. So I wasn't even thinking about real estate. <laughs> exactly. Investing. Actually, I was in law school and still okay. wasn't thinking about real estate investing either. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Well, I'll tell you, uh, you're right about it being difficult in Santa Barbara. It's a very small place. And the beauty of all this wholesaling is you can do it nationally. But what I found is you really got to focus. So I'm now kind of coming back to Central California and Southern California and actually doing wholesaling after having dropped off a bunch of properties here recently in the Midwest. Yeah. And for example, I live in Los Angeles, I, but I went to Cambria two weekends ago to look at a house to fix and flip uh, on Cambria Shores, just south of the of moon, Moonstone or Moonshine, whatever it's called. 
Is that up north of Northern What's California? That? What? Northern California? Cambria. Cambria, right. Yeah. Beautiful. It's south of San Simeon. So there's opportunities, but you got to get out of your own backyard. Yeah, you really do. Um, especially if you're going to be doing the, the fixing and flipping. Uh, you kind of really have to be there to oversee it and make sure it's happening. If you're just wholesaling, it's not a, as big a deal. But if you're fixing those properties, you really need to be closer to them. Right. And so what uh, I want to be able to do, Saturday, is show you some sources of where to go find deals that many people don't think about other than the typical uh, foreclosures, tax liens, bankruptcies, probates, those things. Let's go, let's go a little deeper and find some stuff. Excellent. Excellent. That sounds good. It sounds really good. Do you uh, do you want me to bring up any anything on the uh, computer screen to share as far as your websites, uh, the, the Ventura website? Sure. Or... sure. You want to go there now? Yeah, let's let's sure. go take a quick look. I don't at... normally do the Zoom. I have a, an assistant who's a technician, does everything for me, so I can just sit here and sound brilliant when I'm really not. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, um, I've got uh, all computer experience from working at the university, so yeah, I'm kind of a techie, and whenever You're I'm much hiding... much more advanced than me. What's that? You're much more advanced than me. Well, whenever I know when I'm hiding from real estate, and that's when I start digging back into my tech work because it's kind of playtime for me and an escape, you know? And so I have to kind of slap myself and just go, get back into the real estate. Are you able to see uh, this on the screen at the yes. moment? Yes. You can. Okay, yeah. excellent. Not so good looking guy. Look at that. Good looking guy. Good Absolutely. Guy. And so what we've got here is the Santa Barbara Rio website. And we've got uh, Lloyd here is. Uh, you know, I'm going to be here this Saturday, next Saturday on the 22nd. You can see the uh, dates here. We're going to be at the uh, uh, Marriott there in Goleta, the address That's there. Road. That's where babies are born. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we will hopefully have Linda Pliagas there for about, you know, for a minute. She's going to be talking a little bit in the beginning. We've got uh, Jeremy Rubin, who is uh, up in the Santa Maria area and really spread it out. He's going to be there for about five minutes. They'll be there for the whole time we're there, but we're going to give them a little time in the beginning to talk. I'll talk a little bit, and then we're passing it on to you, Lloyd. Okay. Uh, to do Lloyd, the if you would, Dan, just scroll back for a minute to the other picture of me that says economic update. Okay, great. Go back up to, so I have a, a real estate economic update that I publish every Monday morning. In fact, I was writing it this morning when uh, we started this. And um, it's all the news that's fit to print, plus some funny stuff about what's going on in real estate, Southern California. If anybody wants to be on that subscription list, let me give you my email for that. Um, and Dan, if you want to put this in there, it's Lloyd, L-L-O-Y-D, at Larrick.com. And Larrick is the um, acronym for Los Angeles Real Estate Investors Club, L-A-R-E-I-C.com. And that comes out every Monday morning. As a matter of fact, I've got uh, the web address here. When people oh, get is. back to this website, Santa Barbaria, it's got links to your uh, LA RIA, that's the uh, club, and then also the Ventura. And uh, I think you've got some exciting things happening up. Do you want to talk about the Ventura or the LA club first? Which one? Oh, let's talk about Ventura. Very exciting. Let's, let's go there. So I'm going to click on that. This is your website for the Ventura Real Estate Investor Association. Okay. And you have got some great things coming up. And, and I'm really impressed and happy that you're doing Ventura because I've sat here for years going, we need somebody, you know, kind of covering Ventura better than it's been. And I think you're doing a really, really good job. You've yeah, got I'm able to, uh, to utilize the what we're doing in Los Angeles and bring the speakers and the audience up to Ventura. It's kind of exciting and expanding it. We're still only a year old, but it's really been growing quickly. Yeah, uh, we're meet on the second Wednesday of every month at the River Ridge Country Club. Have you been there, Dan? No, I haven't. I've seen, uh, you know, some... Uh, Google Maps of it, and it looks like a great place to be meeting. Yeah, it's a beautiful place, and the lobby is a two-story lobby, and we're meeting in the lobby from now on, and uh, and an open bar, Dan, for all <laughs> the alcoholics that are really excited about drinking at these events. The we now have an open bar. Don't get me going down that road. We'll never get any real estate done. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, but it's good for me because uh, they laugh at my jokes more when it's uh, 
when there's a couple drinks in. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, that does make a difference. I used to we used to serve wine at our meetings when we were meeting out at the Fest Parker uh, mm -hmm. there by the beach. Mm -hmm. And things got a little crazy, so I went, maybe we need to reel it in. But this is, is this a, somebody you've got coming to this meeting in February? Yeah. So Amy is one of the stars of HGTV's um, House Hunters. And um, she, according to HGTV, is one of their biggest stars from that show. Uh, and Amy is right now in, in planning stages of a new show she's going to do with HGTV, but let her tell you about that. Oh. Very exciting. Anyway, so she's speaking on February 9th in Ventura and then yes. February 10th in Los Angeles. And then we've arranged for her February 11th. Oh, actually, uh, the Tuesday, she's going to speak in San Diego. I put no. her on tour. She's going to speak at the San Diego RIA on Tuesday, uh, the Ventura RIA on Wednesday. And then the Los Angeles RIA on uh, Thursday. All, oh, oh all. that is, you have got that lady busy and congratulations on the score of getting her to show up and do all that. That is wonderful. Yeah. I'm going to uh, jump over here to your um, LAREIC.com, the Los Angeles, so they can see that website as well. And this is huge. I mean, you have meetings here about what would you say you've got one or two a year that are like really big and then your usual ones maybe tell me the difference in size and both oh, of those types scroll, scroll down to the photo there you go stop so we get uh two three hundred people at our meetings and vendor expos it's really amazing the way this has grown uh and we've moved our location from ucla over to the uh iman cultural center in Culver City to uh, expand uh, uh, and make it even larger. Um, and then we have a vendor expo, which goes from 6.30 to 7.30, 8 o'clock. Uh, and we had, uh, let's see, 38 vendors in December. We canceled January because of the Omicron variant, which was having, it's really a problem in Los Angeles, but we're hoping that February will go back on schedule. And um, you can see by this, um, we get we get a large crowds, and this is just one section of the room. Um, and behind those doors is the vendor expo with an, with uh, all the different vendor tables that are all related to real estate investors. Everything a real estate investor would need in terms of professionals to work with them. So that's, that's kind of exciting. That's and, and huge. It, and, yeah, and as an investor, I when I took over the club back in 2016, I said, well. I'm not a big fan of networking, although I know how vital it is. What else can we do in the first part of the day of the of the evening that would be helpful for people other than just shaking hands? And someone someone mentioned me, how about a vendor expo? So the very first vendor expo we had with 2017, we had five vendors. So we're up to 40 and once a year. So that's kind of exciting in itself. And um, every and every, and the vendors evolve. So every month there's a sort of a different evolution of what vendors show up and which ones don't. Uh, and then once a year, you're referring to, we have a, we call the Grand Expo. And I do that with Linda mm -hmm. August from Realty 411. I team up with her and also Sam Sadat from Sam's Real Estate Club. Um, and other than our group, Sam has the second oldest club in all of LA County. So we do this event once a year up at the Skirball uh, cultural center on in the Sepulveda Pass, and uh, last year, last um, last year, October thirty first, Halloween, we had uh, five hundred and fifty four people attending. Oh which, my god! Which is amazing in a pandemic. <laughs> when you think about it, Skirball Set was the biggest event they had all, the whole year of twenty twenty one. In twenty nineteen, which was we didn't do it in twenty twenty, obviously because of the pandemic. In 2019, we had over 800 people attending. So oh it's turning out to be the largest real estate in event in LA County. Um, and then we're gonna, uh, and then that's also jointly sponsored by the Ventura Group as well. That's just amazing. I'll tell you, it is so important to get to these larger events. Um, I went to a very small one up in the Central Coast to Mario's uh, uh, Central Coast. Ah, I spoke at his group. I spoke at his group. 
Very good group. Great group. And it, and it was small. It was nothing like, you know, you're putting on here. But I did meet a uh, Santa Barbara uh, Hope Ranch uh, private lender. And I was able to, you know, get some money to help like about $100,000 to help do some things that we needed to do, basically pay down credit card debt so we could qualify for refinancing loans. Right. But that's the kind of thing that you get when you go to something like this. And when you're talking about 300 to 500 to 800 people and 40 vendors or whatever, that is a huge gold mine of contacts of people to be. You know. right. It's true networking. By the way, if you could scroll up a little bit to the sure. video, are we able to show everybody that video right let's here? Let's see. Let's see what happens it's here. It's really short. It's only 30 seconds. And tell me if you hear it. If you don't. Then... Oh, yeah, sure. I hear it. So this is the Vendor Expo. Leave the sound on. Yeah. Very big. Yeah, can you see all the different vendors and all the people uh, talking? So if you're an investor, you know you want to um, you want to do this because you want to meet as many real estate professionals as you can, and you, and you only have an hour, an hour and a half to do it. So it's kind of an exciting opportunity for yeah for investors. Yeah, it's wonderful. I actually took a my cell phone and walked around and met a lot of the people at that uh, you know. At that meeting, there was it was really big. But the the nice thing was having a video of that I can go back two and three years later. It's all up on YouTube, free access for anybody at you know YouTube video danringwall.com or whatever it is. But to go back and be able to see those people again and go, oh yeah, I never got in contact with this person, and, and I forgot that they were offering this. So it's really good to have this historical documentation to go back and and kind of recapture some of those network contacts. Yes, absolutely. That's what's one of the most exciting things about this whole concept. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I, I think that you and Linda are just doing, you know, an incredible service for all these people that, you know, want to learn how to do and make this happen in their lives. So I really appreciate uh, what you have to offer, what you're up to. Very happy to have you show up. Very happy to have you in Ventura doing what you're doing. Right. Um, I mean, they're... It's a mini version of Los Angeles, and to be that doing that in Ventura, it's wonderful. Now, how often do you you do your meetings in Ventura? Once, Once a month? month, the second Wednesday of every month. Okay, and how often do you do them in LA? Uh, once a month, the second Thursday of every month. That way, we can have a speaker who would normally only go to Los Angeles also go to Ventura. Yeah, yeah, that's really good to have them that close because a lot of times if they're coming from out of state. They want a little bit more that they can do when they get here. Yes. So that's a great idea. Yes. Fantastic. Well, I wanted to keep it kind of short, the meeting. I don't know if you want to cover some other things. Uh, I just wanted something that we can I can send out on this next email to, you know, let people see who you are and, and who they're going to get and what you have, you know, down in Ventura and Los Angeles. And it's just a great service you're offering there, Lloyd. Great, great. I'm looking forward to Saturday. Um, yeah, please send this out and uh, make sure your copy goes to me. You got a copy. I will be back with you and I look forward to seeing you next week. And, you know, uh, masks are required going into the building. They're optional in the room, but this whole thing seems to be blowing up in our face again. And, you know, there's there's been some good things and, and bad things. Obviously the bad things, all the people getting sick, all the people dying. I certainly feel for the people who are younger that want to have a social life and are having a hard time. The good part of all this is that it's forcing us all to, to kind of move 20 years into the future of doing lots of virtual, lots of things that people were going to wait and not do because they just didn't want to spend money, didn't feel like they had the time, didn't want to. We're forced into doing that now. So it's kind of raising our consciousness about how we deal with things and making us step out of our comfort zone, which yes. is what we got to do to do this business. Yes, of course, I say to people, what would this pandemic been like without Zoom? Yeah, yeah. This is my, this is my third Zoom today. Yeah, it's, it's only wonderful. eleven o'clock. Well, Lloyd, you're doing a fantastic job. I really appreciate it. I'm very impressed and very happy that we have you. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you so soon. I, I look forward to seeing you uh, next Saturday, and we will continue on.
Okay, bye. Bye.